Hey everybody and welcome to Indianapolis. As you can see, we've got Indy cars behind me. It's exciting. I just landed. I'm here ready for Gen Con 2017. I'm gonna give you guys the greatest blog ever. This year I have one goal. Tom hasn't let me sing at the Gen Con show in a long, long time. So this year I am going to try my hardest to be able to sing for you guys at the Gen Con show. I have a really good song. I'm gonna try to get him to let me do it. So we'll see what happens. But for now, I gotta get my luggage, but Indy, Indy Cars, Indy, the convention center, Gen Con will be there soon. Well, I'm arriving at the hotel. As you can see, the gorgeous waterfall. This thing's just gorgeous with the elevator. But even, even more cool, which I haven't seen at this time, but eventually, probably tomorrow, because they're not here today, the people who check you in are wearing Star Trek outfits. Tonight he's just wearing a normal suit, so I'm not even gonna bother. But eventually you'll see the cool Star Trek outfits. But for now, at least, you get the waterfall, you get the fun of, of our hotel, and I'm gonna go see who's around. So I found someone here who is a good singer, Dave Luza. You guys know he's a good singer. Hi guys. And you're gonna be singing in the live show, aren't you? Yeah, but I think it's it's a secret. Well, don't worry, this blog's going on after that. Oh, that's good. Okay, here's the thing. I need to beg Tom to be able to sing. Can you help me so I can sing? He tried to ban me because of my bad singing from two years ago. I really want to sing again. He didn't try help to me. ban you, he did ban you. I know, but but I'm gonna get him to let me sing. That's my goal for this convention. I, I know I know what, what the plan is for the whole show. I, I think it's gonna be hard for anyone to, to, to sing. Maybe I'll but jump you in never know. Door. We'll see. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a, a small hint. Can you whistle? I can. Okay, well, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I see a possibility for you. Okay, you know I wrote an original song. I'm very excited to show him the sheet music for this original song I wrote. I, if it's a song, I want to sing it. Ooh. Ooh. No, but I want to sing it. I want to sing again. You okay. have to. You have to help me with this. Right. Yeah, well, okay, well, well, Tom told me that I've got this great part. And he said, but if we're long, he's going to skip my part. So if you're going to do your song, I'm going to skip my, my part. And I don't want to skip my part, so I'm not going to help you. Okay, that's enough from Dave. <laughs> I couldn't find Tom. Couldn't find Sam and Z. Couldn't find anyone else. So it's time for bed tonight. But I have some news for you guys. I don't know if you saw yet, but I got approved to the Guinness Book of World Records. So we are going to do a video in my house, me and Tom, where we're gonna count all my games and we're gonna set the new world record. I know everyone's been talking about this for a long time about my big, big collection. And now we're gonna actually find out how much it is. Um, I don't know how many games I have, but we decided a long time ago when someone told us about this that we couldn't have a guy who has a bunch of Parker Brothers games and like 20 copies of Monopoly and 50 chess boards as a collection. We wanted a collection that showed the real hobby, what we do, the, the hobbyist board gamers or the Euro gamers or the, or the Ameritrash gamers or whatever you want to call them, you know, the boutique board gaming. And this way we're going to... We're gonna enlighten everyone on this as we as we do this. We're gonna make some videos. We're gonna make sure that everyone knows how how cool our kind of gaming is. So I just want to tell you guys all that that I am going for the record. I'm, I've been approved to make an attempt for the record, and we will bring you videos from my house with my giant collection at some point this year. It's pretty exciting. Well, this is a site that has never been seen before at Gen Con. Badges sold out. It's pretty incredible because 50 years we didn't even know that there was such a thing as a sellout but officially this convention is sold out <laughs> well here we are Gen Con day zero as you can see things are still on pallets and being set up so this is the interesting view of the convention right now that all you see is boxes upon boxes of stuff but nothing actually out um, I'm gonna try to hit some boots up at some point and we'll see what their hot items are what they're bringing i know WizKids has wartime one of my favorite new games that's coming out so i don't see it here but i do see dice masters look look at this dice masters deadpool gravity feed so there's gonna be lots of dice masters around for this 
Well, as you can see, Cool Mini is promoting The Godfather a lot, and I see Rising Sun back in the corner there. So it's going to be a very interesting booth with two of Eric's biggest games coming out here. Or actually, Rising Sun's not out, but they're <laughs> just promoting it. But The Godfather is out in stores, but you could also get it here, obviously. Okay, I know Sam is probably going to be jealous that I'm looking at this now, but here you go, TI4. We're never going to be able to do three fingers anymore. Now it's going to be TI4. Four here, look at this. Here we go. TI4. I'm at the Fantasy Flight booth, as you probably figured out. Okay, the first crossover game, Game of Thrones Catan. So here we go into the Catan world, since as you know, Fantasy Flight slash Asmode slash the whole company bought Catan last year. And here is the first game in the Catan series, the Game of Thrones Catan. So that's pretty exciting. Look at the pieces. Um, I, I, I'm pretty excited for this one because I, I like Catan and I love Game of Thrones anything. So I think that's going to be great. And of course, my favorite thing, my favorite thing that's coming out here it's not coming out here, but it's coming out soon. Star Wars Destiny, the third set. I see Boba Fett. I see Boba Fett. So I know that's gonna be exciting. It's called Empire at War, for those of you that didn't know. And let's see who we've got here. I see a young Luke Skywalker there. I see Lando in the back there. And I see Cad Bane. And I know there's gonna be exciting things in this one. So pretty excited for this. Star Wars Destiny Empire at War which is probably going to be a lot of the Boba Fett yellow cards is what I have a feeling will be a lot in there as you can see two of the five cards that they're showing are yellow cards well here I am at one of our favorite booths Stronghold Games our favorite person Stephen Bonacore who by the way is sponsoring our live show. Yes. I've been telling everyone, yes. you have to help me. I want to sing again. I know Tom said that I couldn't sing after that one song I did. The um yeah. the uh the Pina Colada. The Pina Colada song. Yes, you know what song it was. Yeah. It wasn't so bad, really. I, I all I want to do is sing. I have a good song this year. I've been working on it hard. Mm. I have it written down. Can you help me out? Yeah. Um okay, Jason, uh, there are, there are things in this world that should be and shouldn't be and you singing at my sponsored show shouldn't be i'm sorry no jason singing okay well that's the last time we're gonna have steve on this blog <laughs> so i'm um, hopeful that when i talk to tom directly that he will let me sing this time okay i think we made it to our booth i see row 25 here as you can see so I'm trying to find where our booth is. I think it's in this row here. There it is. So here we are. I'm very excited. And look who I found. It's Tom. We, we have a nice table from Rat Scalers here. Isn't that awesome? And this dice tower that Broken Token made for us. Look at this amazing dice tower. And here's Eric. Are you excited? I am excited. Legendary Buffy. Did you see? It's what's on the hang tags. <laughs> Eric is excited. And Tom? It's hey, nice good news, everybody. I just wanted to clarify in the blog something that's not happening at my live show. And that's Jason singing. Because I hear that he's been trying to go behind my back, trying to get people to let him sing. Not happening. Also, hi, everyone. <laughs> Okay, who that I've been talking to talk to Tom? I'm very disappointed in you guys. Everyone who wants to keep their job, I think. And I'm here too. <laughs> it was Derek. I know it now. It was Derek. So, don't worry. I've got some... I'm going to try to sweet talk him later. And I've work. got some good stuff. Not you know what like blackmail like food i know if i sweet talk him with food maybe i'll get to sing i'm very i'm gonna try you guys deserve my singing i'm gonna work hard for you on it but now i have to set up the booth so i will talk to you later yeah so the rest of the gang is here i found sam i think he's tweeting right now i am tweeting right now see look <laughs> yeah. is that an exploding kitten it is 
and, I'm, just and I'm putting with right? I guess with such a provocative name it was bound to happen sooner or later yeah and there there it is over your shoulder if I could get the shot the exploding yeah, kitten go. exploded so are you excited I saw something earlier in the fantasy flight booth yes they actually were are not only demoing TI4 but they are also selling TI4 here at Gen Con so there you have it folks I'm projecting that that might be the hottest item now. We're talking Maybe. about what items are gonna be hot. TI4, might as well just do this. TI4 Life. And I found the other guy too, Z's here. What's up? What are you excited about? What am I excited about? Uh, well, there's a new game coming out from Renegade Game Studios called Ex Libris I'm really psyched about. I talked about this in our top 10 games we were looking forward to. And uh, it seems like there's been a few announcements that were just made, so I want to go check out all the new stuff that just got, uh, the info just got dropped, so that's what I'm doing. Is this important? Well, here's our booth. We have lots of promos, and the coolest promo is down here. JLev, this is my promo for Champions of Midgard. I have a character. I'm very, very excited about it. JLev, and as you can see, it says, Everything is awesome. Well, we finished setting up booth and we're wandering the donuts hall. Donuts for donuts. Tom got his first review copy. Oh no, actually that was like his third or fourth review copy. That doesn't matter, but, maybe I bought it. <laughs> but I think he's excited about that because it's about food, donuts specifically. So he gets excited about that. about that. Game. Dragonfire? He, he's pumped about a lot of games. And Melody's here too. Are you having fun so far, Melody? Yeah. So Melody's having fun and uh, uh, We're gonna wander for a little, so uh, we'll show you what else we get. We can pick up along the way. Well, we have a surprise here. Look at that, Pandemic Legacy Season Two. I'm curious what's gonna happen in that tent. Well, okay, officially the game's not out yet, but there's gonna be demos of it here. I'll probably pop by to see a little bit of demo, and you know that we'll be live playing it at some point in the near future. So, Pandemic Legacy Season Two. We're very, very excited about that puppy. My, so we are my playing special is our can, first can, game of the convention, The Expanse. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see here by Jeff Engelstein. And this game, <laughs> this game seems like a Twilight Struggle kind of game, but multiplayer. As you can see, there's cards. They have, they have let's see, action points. And not only do they have action points, but they have events, and the events can only be used by certain factions, in this case by three of the four, not the red faction, but by the blue, white, and black faction. So I'm I very excited. Use that card. You could use this second card, Eric. This one is for the red faction. So we're pretty excited. Let's see how it plays, but you know, a multiplayer version of a game like Twilight Struggle, I think this is gonna be very interesting. And based on a TV show that I hear is good, I've never actually seen the expanse, but I hear it's good. So here we are at the Arcane Wonders booth. As you can see, this booth is set up for our newest Dice Tower Central viral. Over here you can see there's like, it looks like a lab thing and I just think this is really cool. So viral. For those of you who haven't seen the board yet, here's what the board looks like. It is the inside of a body. This game is a really, really good, it's a Euro style game and it's really good and I really like it and we're looking forward to having, you know, another successful Dice Tower Central with this one. Well, again, today was the setup day so we didn't get to see a lot but the gang's all here now so I'm just going to zoom around and show you guys everyone. Sam and Z, Rob, Roy, Robert, Derek. And over here is Eric. Hi. And other Eric. And Alusa. And our other. Say hi to everyone. Hi. I to look happy because I just got out a 16 hour car ride. <laughs> With a flat tire. I know. Yes, the flat tire. Flat tire. I had a nail. I had a nail in the tire. And you made it up with flat tire? So, no, 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 here's my story. So we left, we're all excited, and then we're like, we gotta do the tire check. We look, and there is a nail. We're like, uh, can we make it? Let's not chance it, because with my luck, we will end up on the side of the road. Not so good. So, we had to stop in Dunkirk, and get it patched up, and here I am. 
Adventures with Mandy on the way to Gen Con. Well, I found Eric Herman. You know he's our musician. You remember he was my, when I did, um, I'm holding out for here, or rather, I want a meeple. I'm holding out for a meeple. So we have Eric here. Um, Eric, I'm trying to get Tom Lummy sing again. I have a song of mine. Can you help me with the music? Um, that depends. Um, what do you have in mind? I have sheet music. I have a song. I don't want to give it away yet to everyone because I want them to be surprised. But I'll give you a hint. It's one of the most popular musicals of all time. I've, I've made promises to Tom about not letting you say that are deep and binding and involve severe and criminal and uh, financial penalties to myself. So I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. Okay. That's enough with Eric. I'll get back to you guys with more from the blog a little later, and I'm going to sing this song, whether he likes it or not. Well, we just had a really good dinner, um, and it's that time of the year where we do the Fantasy Flight slash, I guess now as Mode. I'm not sure what it is, but we do the secret game. If you remember last year, we got to play HMS Dolores, and we got to play Star Wars Destiny. I'm really excited to find out what the secret game is this year, and I think no matter what it is, we're going to have a really great time. Okay, so, the big game. I'm very excited about it. What is it? Wait, you started without me, Tom? Yes. Of course we started without you. Why do you think we started without you? Because it's TI4, and... Yeah. Oh. oh well. You wanted the game to stay epic. We also yeah. wanted noises like that not to be in the game too much. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like so Tom and Sam are going to get their first TI4. Yeah. And unless you spend any amount of influence. And Tom said he's going to finish the entire game tonight. Okay. We're going to do this. Yeah. Even if I do have the cheating the faction. Is spend any amount of influence to get a command token. For well, judging by their reactions, I think that Sam and Tom both really enjoyed TI4. Actually, I think Sam enjoyed it more than Tom because Tom seemed to be getting crushed in the game. <laughs> um, and I didn't even play, so it wasn't me that was beating on him in this game. But uh, it went over very well. I'm guessing that you're going to see a review of it very soon because, you know, it's TI4. It's one of the coolest games out there. Well, it's almost the end of the night, but look who I ran into. Zev, everyone knows him. And uh, you have to discard one card, but by attacking it. Zev knows we played on. Um, we played some of your games today. We played The Expanse, which I really, really, really enjoyed. Oh, good to hear, man. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, like I was saying, it's like Twilight Struggle, but multiplayer, which I love that mechanic. I love the action point mechanic. I love the, you know, you could use the powers off, off the card from someone else. And there's this cool little mechanism where if I, if I use the power and I'm at the top of the initiative and three different people could take it, I can go first, but then I drop to the bottom initiative so I won't get one for a long time after that. Expanse. Now, this, now, I didn't know this game was going to be like that, but I love it. This is a game that I'm highly recommending. <laughs> You've been bringing a lot since you, since you went to Whiskey. You've been bringing a lot of good games out there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, not all the, not all of them are licensed, but that one they got the license. Or they said, hey, you know, what can you do with it? And I knew the game was all about influence. I mean, the series was all about influence and stuff. So I I knew the direction I wanted to go, and I I spoke with Jeff about it, and he ran with it. He did a great job. Yeah, it's it's a it, you're having a good year. I mean that. Fantasy Realms, I love that. Yeah. It's like it's like a rummy oh, style game, but yeah, really, sure. really well. Yeah. And Tournament of yeah. Camelot, it's been I mean, it's been a really good year. You've done a lot. Wartime, wartime. Yeah. This is the one. Yeah. Me and Tom, I think we're gonna do a review of it real soon. And Ooh. wait till you guys hear about this one. This is a real time war game with timers, and it is the most intense war game I've ever played. Yeah, I'll say you know what? It's not even real time because it's not much real time. What it is? Because you have timers. There's no turns. So it's really that. It's a it's right. it's all mm -hmm. simultaneous. Basically. Yes, and but Nobody when those timers are ticking, right. you're like, I gotta think of what I'm doing next because if okay. you don't do Germany. something, your time runs out and you're sitting Germany. there. Yes. Oh, I gotta go. Germany. Germany Ger uh, Germany's going to the war. So Germany's <laughs> pulled back to the war. Anyway, that's Zev, one of our favorite people. Take care, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think I'm gonna wrap it for the night tonight. So I will see everyone tomorrow. We're getting up early for an early breakfast, and then we have a full day. Fans are going to start coming to our booth, and it should be fun. And hopefully, I know I've been saying this, but hopefully tomorrow I can convince Tom to let me sing. But we'll see how it goes. I still have two more days before the live show to convince him, and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, have a good night, and I will see everyone tomorrow.